Okay guys, I'm actually gonna go in uh, this area right here. I haven't been in here for a while. Uh, so I'm gonna check this out, see if there's anything in here that there might be some something going on here. As you can tell guys, this area is really, really, really full of cactus and everything. Well, what do you expect? You know, this is Texas, so, you know. Nice place out here. Wow, look at that. That, a few months ago, guys, was actually right there, and it actually, yes, broke off. But, it sure looks like it was dead. Sure was, man. Look at that. This came right off, man. There's a lot of those trees around here. You gotta be really careful that you don't run into a problem like that. Cause you will be sorry. Cause out here, yeah, you know, there is nothing but woods out here. Nothing more, nothing less but woods, man. So if you get hurt out here, there's a good possibility that nobody's gonna come and find you for a while. <laughs> Unless you have one of them special GPS type things and you can actually, you know, get in contact with somebody. But other than that, you're going to basically be on your own. So, I'm going to keep on checking out the area and maybe I'll get lucky out here. I haven't been in this area for a while. That's what actually I was walking up to. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to hit this stone down here. Jump down over here. And see, see this all natural rock here? This is all natural rock, guys. There's a place uh, that uh, you go to and you'll actually see on the natural rock, there's actually some dinosaur steps. Uh, you can actually see their indentations, little prints. It's really cool. Uh, I got to go up to that area and actually show you guys. It's really neat. You see, you got more natural rock over here. Really cool. Look at this, guys. Trying to see if maybe there could be something over here closer to this water line. Let's see if we cross this way. Let's see if maybe get lucky and see something. The only thing I see is a bunch of mosquitoes. Uh, and that's basically it. Oh, man on looking keep on looking like I said guys fishing for Bigfoot fishing for Bigfoot that's all Bigfoot is, is this is an ironic guys how big he is and he can just get stuck like a needle in the haystack and he's so hard to find <laughs> that has always always made me think you know why is it so hard to find him you can see these trees up here you can see like that moss coming down on him we get a lot of this we have a lot of the same type of basically ge geological kind of swampy type uh areas minus the alligators but we do have a lot of the same type of geological areas just like almost like Florida has uh, correct me if I'm wrong anybody that lives out there but I've seen a lot of people videos 
I've seen videos from Tim Fasano and stuff, and really, if you see a lot of the area, a lot of the area is basically the same. So, you know, a lot of people talk about Bigfoot being out here. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to say he's not, you know, there's not Bigfoot out here, but I, I got to say 100% that I, I think more than anything, the species that is out here in Texas is more skunk ape than anything. I got to really say that because my gut feeling tells me that it is some type of skunk ape because I'm pretty sure there's more than one species. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to keep on pressing on that direction and see if maybe this little area takes me to something and I'll get back to you guys and I'll let you know what's going on. Thank you guys.